I am blessed to have witnessed this amazing day, to be here to watch your family grow feels so special in every way. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Since uh, me and Timmy matured, we probably came closer and closer as our uh, aspirations of having a wife and family, kids, a land, some land out in the country. And I'm proud of you that I see that all that has already came true. We have put you through the ringer. Like, I mean, dress him in dresses, and we have put makeup on him, and we have chased him, and there is so many stories, it's not even funny. So, um, you're welcome, Amanda. He came trained. <laughs> Donald was on the truck away, and I was home with the three little girls, very pregnant, and went in labor, and ended up at the hospital. He ended up meeting us there. Timothy was born, but I had a cesarean. He had to come bum first. <laughs> so anyway, when I came to, um, I didn't believe I had a son. No way. I thought, no, you need to show me and you need to undo the pamper and I need to see that this is my boy. So welcome to our family, Tim. I can't wait to watch you two grow on this journey to forever. I love you both so much. Congratulations on your very special day. P.S. Tim, you will be forever Daddy Tim. I will forever be Baby Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I could talk for hours about our 15 year history, but today we're celebrating you and Tim, not me and you. Um, however, you are my call in the middle of the night, drop everything once in a lifetime person. Uh, secret to a happy marriage. If ever you want to be happy with love in the loving cup, if ever you're wrong, admit it. If ever you're right, shut up. <laughs> We should start with a story or two about Amanda. I wrote a few things down. I'm panicking, so I go back to where I think she was last, and then I hear it. Daddy, Daddy. Didn't I do a good job hiding in the clothes? <laughs> oh, well, let me tell you, I never felt so relieved. And my response to Amanda, yes, honey, you're the best three-year-old holder, oh, hider in the whole world. <laughs> It was on the back nine that his true talents came through. And he could find any ball anywhere. Maybe he was coming out of the woods with extra balls. You know, if we had a stage, I think the club hugs would have hired you on, man. I think it was this talent, I guess, is how he found his best find ever, which of course was Amanda. Our bond is unexpl unexplicable. But what I can tell you is you're my once in a lifetime person. I love you and Maya and Madison and Lily and now Tim. You're my forever people. You're my tribe. So welcome to the tribe. <laughs> Uh, 
and uh, I can't promise I'll be able to fix all the problems, but I do promise you'll never have to face it alone. I promise, I promise to always put our daughters first, and it won't always be easy, but I'll always try to make things better. I promise to love you for the rest of my life. I can't put into words how it feels to stand here with you today and know without a shadow of a doubt that it is now and has been our job as parents to protect all three of them. I'll never be able to truly thank you for walking into my life and saying, let me carry this weight with you. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Marriage Act in the province of Nova Scotia, I'm happy to pronounce you, Timothy and Amanda, husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. A toast to the two people who get lost, yet who have found each other and have become an awesome couple and have made an amazing family. Love you both. Enjoy your special day. Timmy looked at me and said, I bet you $50,000 that you're going to get married before I do. Remember that? And it went on and on for years and years. So I'm going to leave this with Amanda. You owe me $25,000. <laughs> 